So, this video, I'm just going to talk about the master. Or just more importantly, Big Finish's master. Um, so, Alex McQueen, I think, is my favorite master so far. Um, I know people have problems with, uh, you know, Sims master. I actually really like Sims master. I'm in that camp. Um, I'm kind of in the Pro Davies camp for a lot of things, actually, in terms of the show. Um, and people have issues with Missy, um, because they just don't feel she's like the master, or they feel that the Sim got cut off early. I don't think I have a problem with Missy's master. I kind of like her as well. Um, but I think Big Finish has found that perfect blend of the Sim Missy master with the perfect blend of the um, Delgado, Ainley, and even Beavers to a Beavers, uh, Jeffrey Beavers for a uh, master. Which, ironically, he's in the big finish, uh, Jeffrey, uh, the one, the, he's the master with the hood and the, the weird emperor-like face. Um, but this master is my favorite. Um, this master, played by Alex McQueen, <coughs> I hope I'm saying the name right. <coughs> Sorry. <coughs> Bad cough. He appeared first in Unit Dominion. Now, I never listened to that. My first interaction with him was in the Dark Eyes um, saga. Um, Dark Eyes 2. Um, Eyes of the Master. It, no, wait, was it Eyes of the Master or the Master Plan? Let me check on that. I can actually check right here. Uh, I hate this. Um, no, it's Rule of the Eminence. He played, no, Eyes of the Master. I was right. That's right, Eyes of the Master. Um, but there's just something about this Master that has that silly nature, insane nature that Sim and Missy are able to portray. See, you can tell that, I, I guess they're right, I mean, the Miss, Missy is very separate, or we just come on, we call Missy, but that's another controversy. But this Master has both the suave sophistication of a Roger Delgado, with just the utter insanity of Sim, but more dialed back. Because he's more just hoity-toity silliness. Not, not I don't want to say hoity-toity. That's not a good word. See, this is why I need to read a dictionary, people. I don't do well under this. But he is the perfect blend of that. He's like Delgado 2.0, almost. Like, even more like... If Ainley was more the psychotic, Delgado is the suave... He is the perfect mix of the two. But he also has a very, um, modern bent to him, I guess. I mean, well, it's the Big Finish. Big Finish always has a modern bent to their mm, stories. And, yeah, he's just one of my favorites. Um, he especially works well with the Eighth Doctor, even though he appeared first in the, with the Seventh Doctor. His timeline's a bit off. I think they're building it where... Because like, he just came out in another audio drama with the Sixth Doctor, and I think, if I'm reading his timeline correcting, cor correctly, he he makes the Sixth Doctor first, then he goes to Seven, then he eventually meets up with Eight. But he's just a joy to watch. I mean, <clears throat> Dark Eyes is like one of my favorite Big Finish stories of all time. And that hasn't changed yet. <laughs> um, because it's just... Dark Eyes itself is a perfect blend of the Moffat tiny whininess, but with actual good continuity and some story, and a good story behind it. I mean, I do like Season 6, and I think Series 5 is really good. Uh, but I'm not going to get into that can of worms. Let's not go there. <clears throat> but, seems to be rambling about why I like Alex McQueen, what I could just say in five seconds. Or I could probably just say this in five seconds. Um... He, he, um, if you can tell by the picture, he looks a little like Lex Luthor. Oh, yeah, that, that actually reminds me of, he looks, reminds me of Lex Luthor, almost. Not Bat Superman T.A.S. Lex Luthor, more like, maybe a little bit of Christopher Reeve Lex Luthor, but more threatening. I mean, I, I don't, I guess, uh, heresy here, I, I have not seen all of the Christopher Reeve stuff from beginning to end, so I don't know how threatening Lex Luthor ever came off. It's all, maybe he reminds me more of the Superman Returns Lex Luthor, but more threatening, even. Even though that's played by Kevin Spacey. Um, but he just has a certain fun to him. Like, he's fun to watch, and yet he's still threatening. And he doesn't go over the top, either. When I say he's fun, I don't think, like, 
John Sim goofiness or just Missy's just outright nuts to the, over the the wall insanity. He has a sophistication to him. You can even just tell by the picture, like he's a very calculating master. He he keeps the calculating master type of he takes on disguises, he plans things out for the most part. Um he's also very sarcastic. Like I love it when um there's one scene in Dark Eyes, spoilers, I guess. It's been out for a while now, although I would recommend you buy it where he's like so he teams up with the Daleks and somebody's like, you know, the Daleks are gonna betray you, you're like Really? The Daleks betray the most evil beings of the universe? Betray me? Oh, heavens forbid, I had no idea. No, I just love it. Like, he knows. Like, he knows the Daleks are going to betray him. Um, this is probably video is going to be shorter than my first one. By the way, I'm just going to warn you, these videos are going to be so inconsistent. I have no plans. Um, except for my weekly podcast for being consistent on these topics. But yeah, I think Big Finish has created my favorite master. Although Big Finish has a lot of my favorite things. I mean, they have the best Davros. I mean, Davros is still Davros. They just expanded on him. Um, Eighth Doctor is one of my favorites. Um, well, the six because of Big Finish. Finish. Um, <coughs> but yeah, I think this is their creation, their master. And I really hope that this is the master that's in the Time War. Because the way they set it up, he is supposed to be the master that comes from the Time War. I don't know yet if if the time lines me up because he meets the Sixth Doctor and he did not do an, a memory erase thing where clearly the Eighth Doctor knew him. Even though when you read listen to Dark Eyes, it's like it feels like the first time they used to have met, but the Eighth Doctor does recognize him. The big finish is weird in that way because in according, according to them it's it's the Eighth Doctor movie master. Oh, what's his name? What's his name? I forget his name. Shoot, I'll look it up later. Uh, Eighth Doctor movie master. Then it goes back to Beavers, uh, the old master before Ainley. He gets his decrepit body back. Then he regenerates into Alex McQueen master. So I think that's how the timeline works out. I'm not quite sure. Doctor Who timelines are weird, and I make it my mission in life to figure it out. But... Yeah, I just really love this master. Um, he and Eight, I, I said this earlier, but I'm going to reiterate, go in a bit more depth. He and Eight have a very good chemistry together. Like, I feel like certain doctors are, certain masters are made for certain doctors. Delgado and Peter Tree all are obviously meant for each other in terms of just they are the doctor and master. Missy and the doc and the twelfth doctor, Capaldi, I think are perfectly groomed for one another. Um, despite your problems with Missy, if you have any, I personally, like, think her charisma with her chemistry with 12 is spot on. Sim and Tenet definitely have that, too. Which is why I don't, even though I love to put, I love it when people put Sim and Smith together, I don't think it works out that well. I think you need to, they need to be polar opposite, and Sim does not work with Smith. Um, even though I have myself tried. Just because I just like that master. Um, Alien 5 worked pretty well as well, as well, even though Ailey also was with 6 and 7. It's weird, in Big Finish, they kind of or rotate the masters a bit, so like, different doctors meet different masters, um, especially the ones that are actually alive. Actually, there are only two. They only have two dead masters now. It's uh, Jeffrey Beavers, and I think I'm butchering that last name. I apologize if the actor is listening, and Alex McQueen now. Um, but yeah, um... This video just turned more to a discussion about the Master in general, which I'm fine with, by the way. But, yeah, I think, again, big finish. They have made my favorite Masters to date so far. Um, this is probably his best incarnation. I love this guy. I mean, I love this version of the Master. It has everything, like, it's still the cheesiness, but it has enough of that insanity that reminded me of the Joker. Because the thing about, I like about the Sims Master is that it reminds me of the Joker. And I don't know if that's necessarily a good thing, but I like it because it reminds me of the Joker, and anything that reminds me of the Joker is a good thing for me. In fact, a lot of Doctor Who's films remind me of Batman things. I can see why fellow YouTuber Sid Part 2 talks about Tenet being like a superhero. Um, although he's more like Superman, and I agree with that. Um, shout out to Sid Part 2, by the way. Don't describe Geeky Gentleman. But yeah, big finish.
I'm going to talk about more about Big Finish on this channel, I promise. Because um, Big Finish is something that does not get to do and deserves to do. So yeah, that that's it for this video. Um, tell me what you think. Like, subscribe. Tell me if my voice is good. Like, it's coming clear. I know I have a bit of a nasally voice, I think. I don't know. This is all an experiment for me. So, yeah. Like my channel, subscribe, and listen to the Imperial Holonet when it comes out on Red Leader and Tilly's channel. I might put a link to it. I think I will. Okay, bye.